All right, well, here's the new build. You can see right there is the Synchro. So this is gonna be a fun one. We got already have some nice steely wheels with some, uh, I think these are BF, yeah, BF Goodrich uh, TO2 alterings, or KO2, sorry. Um, yeah, got the Synchro badge, cool Synchro gas tank. On the inside, we got this cool looking rug, which is gonna be ripped out very easily, obviously. And then um, this is probably gonna be taken out also with these sliders and I'm gonna do some hardwood flooring, the usual. I believe this is a Z bed. I tried to pull it out. I think it might just be dumb, but I need to figure out how to pull this out into a bed. It's got the rear cushion already. Then it has this AC unit, which normally has this beam that comes across to that front right there. And if that was there, it probably would work. It does have the AC condenser on the motor, but um, I don't think I'm gonna try doing that. I think I'm just gonna rip it all out. Take that out, take that out, and make it all nice and clean. Up front, we got this ugly stained from 1987 brown carpet. I think we're gonna make this uh, black with either so fine carpet or painting it. I'm not sure yet. But the front dash, pretty basic, just normal stuff. Our cool four wheel drive sticker right there that we're gonna be putting on. And yeah, it's already got curtains. So like I said, hardwood flooring, black carpet, um, fix this thing up. It's got some rust. I'll show you on the outside. You can see here, it's resting quite a bit through that spot. It's a sweet spot for it. And then a little bit right there. Body is a little dinged up right here. It's got those cool tires, like I said. And then those are going to be replaced with some unweavy bumpers. And then this rusted out front beam. It's all got to be fixed. Either sand it down and then just kind of paint it to stop the rust, or maybe I'll fully go through it. I'm not really sure. I'm not uh, too familiar with rust repair. But yeah, main thing I want to do, what we're going to be doing today anyway, is going to be the hardwood flooring. And then uh, just little stuff around there, like that cracked mirror and uh stuff like that so i got a bunch of stuff coming in monday today's sunday and then uh gonna get into work on this thing doing a lot of stuff real quick and see if we can get this thing out take it off roading see what it could do all right well as you can see the carpet's tan i got this wood it's a dark brown kind of has a little bit of tan in it a little bit of dark brown i wanted to match this and i also wanted to match that panel and it should go to, uh together pretty well i'm gonna leave this foam in. I usually take this out, but it actually is in pretty good condition right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it and then just set the hardwood on top of it. It'll make it a little bit cushier anyway. So let's do that. After vacuum, before vacuum, after, before. Vacuum this up, put the flooring back down, and put the wood on top. Quick update, I only got one box of hardwood. Thought I only needed one, but looks like I obviously need two. So I'm gonna stagger these, I'm gonna get one more box, fill it right there, and then we'll be good to go.
painting the old faded black plastic. You can see what it looks like now. Also not very clean, but it doesn't need to be perfect. But get some semi-gloss or uh, flat black. I prefer flat black, but this is what I have, so I'm gonna use it. And spray this on. All right, little time travel. I actually ended up painting this flat black instead of semi-gloss like I had it before. Really didn't like the semi-gloss. It just looked like cheap spray paint. Um, it's kind of just how gloss just looks like to me. I just don't really like, just don't really like how it turned out. So I uh, resprayed it in bl uh, flat black. Looks a lot better. I think it just looks cleaner and doesn't just look like spray paint. So both the grills are done. Throw these back on. I actually just welded up the exhaust because it had a huge exhaust leak. So I'll fix that, and then we'll do a couple other things. We'll be good to go, and she's gonna be pretty. Get some of this, and get rid of this chrome. Spray it on. Goes on pretty fast. See a thick coat. All right, here it is after drying. You can see it's got that rough finish to it, and the stuff is pretty tough. It's pretty hard to scratch. Always a plus for bumpers. Let it dry a little more and then we'll throw it on the van. Get a, a video of it on the van. Much better. Also goes with the paint. Too. Well, if you go ahead and look here, add a bit of a rust issue going on. My foot hasn't gone through this yet. Anyway, we got that though. We're gonna put that there. Hold it in. Never done this before. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, it doesn't just screw everything up. We'll find out. <laughs> 